Occasionally I'll use a map, but most of the time I'll use the quadcopter to get the exact shot that I need in any particular city. Legos are the iconic building blocks of our childhood, and so they interest me to use them as the buildings and structures in each of the city compositions. Turning all of the components I use um, into white allows me to minimize the palette and emphasize the line and shape when building up what is essentially a collage artwork. I've always been fascinated the way a city will look the same as a circuit board with the different elements on it and the information traveling from one section to, to another. High gloss resin is perfect in the most recent Urbicus paintings that show intensely colored water juxtaposed against the very white city elements of circuit boards and Legos. For some cities, the Urbicus paintings are all white, and so I use a matte area to juxtapose against the high gloss. And to achieve that, I use various tools to sand down the surface. Each location really lends itself to a different manifestation of the imagery for the series. Uh, sometimes the work is for a client in a specific home, and other times it's just a general part of a city. Each time I think about color and the overall rhythm of the shapes, The Urbicus painting for Manhattan Beach had a little bit of a sepia tone to it to match the interior of the, the home and of course it showed the location of the home on the painting which was denoted by a music box and an antique key. The tune it played was the same one played at the client's wedding. The Urbicus painting from Miami is the first to show the intense color of the water juxtaposed against the white. This is a new direction for the entire series.